Alrighty guys, it's Brent back here, and we are jumping into another Ironclad run. Uh, we are going to actually jump into Ascension 1. So let's embark onto this. So, Ascension are the different difficulties. Uh, we ran last time on Ascension 0, which had none of the different modifiers. Ascension 1, uh, the first thing you get is a s Elite Spawn more often. So, I was playing a little bit off camera, trying to do some of the unlocks. And to just try out Ascension 1 and got my butt kicked. I only did the Ironclad, just a little bit. So, colored card or rare relic? Let's do... Oh, rare card, I guess it was. Bludgeon could be really good. Uh, so could Brutality, though. I think Brutality, because since you don't have a defined run, these three cost cards are going to be a little cumbersome to play, I think, right in the beginning. And Brutality could lend its way into some very interesting things. Alright. Get back in here. Ascension 1. It shouldn't be... I'm not thinking it'll be too, too bad. Um, once we get the hang of it. I tried some really, really wacky uh, builds as I was doing my Ascension runs earlier this morning. And some turned out well. Some of them didn't. Let's see. Spot weakness is pretty good. So is Infernal Blade. Uh, I think we'll go with spot weakness to start with. Try to get a little bit of that strength gain going. Uh, we are going to take the Golden Idol, uh, which is enemies drop 25% more gold, and we took the reduction to the max HP. Seems like the best one for this. Um, Transformer card could be interesting. We don't really have a defined deck, but removal card always pretty good. Let's tr let's transform a strike. Super Sword Boomerang actually pretty good way to deliver on that strength. Doubt's pretty bad. Is there a shop going up? Um, not unless we really, really do like a, a fork and go way over here. We could try that though. We'll take the doubt and we'll go try to remove it. Cut hurt us in the long one. That weakness is pretty bad. Upgrade two random cards. Bash and defend. Pretty good. I think we'll skip this elite in lieu of taking on this one and get a few upgrades going on. I think a nade on that, four strength. Let's go with the extra strength game. Because that's four strength per boomerang for sword boomerang. So, pretty good. Let's go ahead and we'll remove a bit. Oh, we'll remove doubt. Let's say let's move a basic strike. No. So we could now not go to the shop. Start a better path. Elite, question mark. And then question mark. Yeah, we'll do this change up our pathing just a hair uh so bash and strike all right i'm so i'm trying to get a little bit better i'm a little bit afraid to play the silent we had some rough rough goes last time we did so that's our additional card draw get a little more hopefully we can kill him next turn um if we get maybe our strength and then a strike or two. Oh yeah so spot weakness get that four strength so 10 damage so i'll take both of them I think I'm fine with that. Kind of split up that damage going on. Now, it might have been smarter to kill him first. Like, looking over it, but... We should be good. We are a little low on HP, but... Ooh! Actually, we're very low on HP. Okay, we need to... Really... I think we'll leave him in, in lieu of hitting the other one. Brutality's gonna hurt us again. Oh! So we could die, but we won't. Could die, but we will not. We did cut it close, though, coming to this elite. Like, we'll be down to, what, 14? Uh, oh, we should have bashed first, but it's fine. Bad ordering. Dark Uh whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. So, feel no pain whenever you exhaust. This one's for statuses. And I think we'll just take the vulnerability. A little bit of extra just damage as it goes. Ooh, frozen egg. Whenever you add a power card to your deck, it comes in upgraded. Pretty good there. Keep going. Question mark. There's just too many fights in a row here without anything. Like, at least here, we get another question mark. And we could go question mark again. Maybe try to skip one of these fights. I'd like to have gotten more rest in here. And I think I should have pathed a little better to... Uh, Make that happen, but should be fine. Easy fight here. Thunderclap, and we should be able to kill. Yep. 
good addition to the deck. Um, I actually kind of like Power Through. It's a really good, like, heavy-handed block. Uh, the wounds are pretty bad, but Ironclad has a lot of ways to exhaust them. I'm trying to think, based on our deck. Because right now, what are we doing? We're using Spot Weakness to make Sword Boomerang and Thunderclap better. Uh, I don't think... We'll take Power Through. I'm not sure if it's the right call, but we'll try it out. Okay, we really need to... Getting power of through on the first hand. This is a pretty bad one. We might need to use that strength. Because this dude scales pretty quickly. Without having... Uh, that power... I mean, the uh, spot weakness. We're not gonna... We're not gaining strength. But I think... So that'll do 10 plus a strike. I think we're pretty close here. 9. So if we do strength potion... Take no more damage. And then we'll heal up what we lost. Cleave. Another spot weakness. Could be pretty spicy. Let's see how this goes. I don't think we should take the elite. If it's... The only one... If it's Gremlin on the knob, I think we'll be dead. So I think we'll skip it. In lieu of trying to get a little more health. Um, let's go with that. Sword Boomerang and Strike. Try to use our uh, Burning Blood to heal up a little bit. So that's pretty good right there. And full defend. He might escape. I don't know if we'll be able to put enough damage down range. Uh, with this turn, it'll definitely help. Oh, okay, yeah, we got him. Cool. 32. Another. I think another spot weakness is just too much. I think we'll go with Battle Trance. Get a little bit of draw. We have him. Okay. Uh, shop here. Let's see. Uh, we're not exhausting anything, so it's not really useful. Whenever you apply vulnerability, you apply one week. That could be champion's belt. Could be good. Huh. I'm trying to look. Seeing red also could be good. Or a bloodletting, either one. So could jar dark shackles. I think we'll take this. I think we'll take this one. And I think we'll remove a card. We have no curses, right? Yeah. So I took seeing red. In light of, you know, there's a chance that when we beat this boss, be, uh, we won't get an energy relic. And I think energy is very, very important. And not that's what I've noticed the last couple times I've played. Is the energy that I've gotten has not been enough to uh, keep me very, very alive. So, I'm thinking uh, having just a little bit... A something something to increase the chance in case we don't get one will be good. I'm thinking a little bit of shockwave here. Gives us some of that vulnerability again and a little bit of weakness. Always comes in handy. Um, seeing red for zero could be good. Shockwave, five weak and five vulnerable. It pretty much like stacks it where we can at least always keep the vulnerable going. And the weakness should, like, five turns of weakness is a lot. So first turn, yeah. Let's go with this here. Not a great one. We need to do four, 24 damage this coming up turn. Uh, can we do that? Gain four strength. And then nine. So 13, 13. 20, we can do 26. So in lieu of that, I think we will spot weakness, power through... And then do one hit. So we'll take nine, but we need to do 18 next turn. And this is more of what we're looking for. So we'll battle trance first. Uh, okay. We drew another spot weakness, which isn't too great. He's already vulnerable. So I'm thinking bash. Oh, we should have done this one first. I think. And seeing red might have been. We should have played seeing red first. Bad moves, bad moves all around. Okay, spot weakness, defend, battle trance. Could sing red defend thunderclap? That's a good way to do it. Get the damage off and get draw through the deck a little bit more. Exhaust one more card out. Uh, I think this is a great turn to dark shackles. And then if we do this, it's thirty damage to the enemy. But we're gonna take. 
15 minus that, so 10. I don't think it's worth it. One strike will do fine. Can't win them all. Okay. He's doing a lot this turn. That. This. Strike. So we'll take five. Not too bad. Not for his big, big turn. We might have been able to knock him down now that I'm looking at it more closely. Alright. There we go. That's the kind of turns we're looking for, really. Okay. We're going to take nine, so. And there's nothing we can do about it. So, one bad, like, draw, which we were very close to having, will put us down. And I think I'm glad, we're pretty glad we didn't use Brutality earlier, because I think that would have been our death using it. Ooh, 36, 24, and we can, we can knock him out. Bam. First ball is dead. Ascension 1. Very tight, though. Very, very tight. Um, I think it's got to be demon form. We already got, like, part of a strength build. And this was what I was worried about. Um, yeah. No energy relics. So whenever you lose HP, draw one card. Could be good with brutality, so we'll draw two. Yeah, I think we'll go with runic cube. It's a little bit of a weird one. But I think it makes the most sense. So we want to avoid some of these elites. So we can go up there. A lot of question marks. Rest here. So that would be one elite. And then another rest. Yeah, I think that'll be kind of the path we go. I don't think we should hit. We'll hit a later shop, I think. So brutality. Um, thunderclap. Spot weakness. Defend. So with the brutality, we're looking for something to increase strength as we... Uh, Go through this. Okay, we got a lot of draw here. This will be really good. And so we're taking, we can just say we're taking none, but we won't get anything done. I don't think I'm really for that, per se. Really draw through everything. Yeah. I think we should instead, oh, so we'll spot, we'll do both. We'll spot weakness and then dark shackles. Not a very productive turn, but we're up to 7 strength, so we could really use some kind of AoE, like a cleave or something. Uh, Sword Boomerang just isn't going to cut it the way we want it to. Thunderclap, again. Battle Trance. Um, so what do we got coming in? 14. Seeing red again. We need to make that zero cost. Power through. Another spot weakness. And another spot weakness. So we're up to 14 strength, but just have nothing to do with it. Currently, we're kind of just letting the Thunderclap distribute all that damage, but these things have like 50% damage reduction. Yeah. Until you hit them three times. And this is a bad turn. But we killed one of them. And then one defend. Never mind. It was a completely fine turn. Uh, looking at the numbers one more time. So we want... Yeah, well, I don't think, actually, I don't think we need Thunderclap. No, we delivered it fine. So we're looking for a way to really use that strength. Pummel, that's kind of what you want. Two times four. Kind of the desired outcome for, like, a, a hard strength. So we're going to Sing Red, we're going to Demon Form, and then we're going to block. Demon Form's out there now. We'll progressively get that uh, strength as we go through now without really having any problems with it. Battle Trance first. Spot Weakness. I think we'll go ahead and Dark Shackles. Um, Shockwave? Because that'll give him weak. Yeah. So we'll take six. But I don't think it'll be too bad. We'll be up to ten strength now. Extra card draw. Yeah. So what do we got? Twelve times. So 48 damage right there. We Spot Weakness. Uh, 60 damage. We're really close to killing him with that. Oh, it was, with the vulnerability. Yes, I, I completely remembered that. Cost one less. I think Blood for Blood is actually... We've got like a pseudo, like, hurt herself build. How many strikes do we have left? Honestly, for the defends, I think we'll upgrade them just to get the upgraded defends. Uh, it'll help us a lot, I think, in the long run. Uh, I'll fight for this. I don't want to lose our gold. And the red mask could be really good for us. 
Uh, I don't think we'll. I think we want him down first. Yeah. So it could take. We don't want to take ten. We'll do this. Then we will continue. We need a little bit of extra draw in here too. Uh, maybe like a pummel strike. I don't think another battle trance will be very good in terms of that. So we could weaken the board or probably kill one. Nine times four. I uh, would be very close to killing one. Yeah, I think we'll weaken the board. And then that'll be it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely some energy would do us a great deal of good. Also, making that brutality innate would also help a lot, I think. Bam. 28. Kill him. Some more draw. Sword boomerang. We can kill one more of them. I guess the one doing more damage. So 11 damage off the board. Nice. Not a bad fight. Red mask in our hands now. And we will continue going through. Yeah, pummel. Flex potion, which could be good. Um, I'm thinking shrug. Yeah. A little bit more defensive. Can't hurt. We will continue. Un shop. Okay, limit break. Yes. And then I'm thinking card remove. Could take another Dark Shackles, which could be good. I think the card removal will help us more, though. Yeah, I'm thinking just a basic strike out here. Even though they're upgraded, I still don't think... You know, they're a basic strike. I don't think they're really worth much to us. Then, smithing. And let's go ahead... Do Limit Break first. And then we'll go at go after Brutality, maybe. Yeah, so... Oh, they're not attacking first turn. Now, that's a weird one. I thought this guy normally attacks turn one. Which sucks, because we could have... Spot Weakness, Limit Break, continue with our day. He's attacking this turn. We'll do the Seeing Red. We'll put in a little bit of a Shrug. Bash, Strike. We're good. Yeah, even with our Strength, that Vulnerability from the Shockwave... Really, really puts a hurting down on these guys. Uh, battle transfers. Brutality. Thunderclap. And then he's doing 12, so power through. Oh, I guess we could have not done that. Derp. For some reason, I thought power through was two, or we only had one energy or something. My bad. Should be fine, though. Another turn where we got our spark weakness, and they're not doing anything. Also, feel like we have a lot more defends than I thought we did. So maybe pulling a defend next time instead of over a strike will be what we do. Yeah, we have no strength yet, which is kind of wonky. Twenty-seven. It's not enough. What if we? Oh, not what I wanted. Five strength. Double it to ten. Then hit him. It would be. 37. I keep hitting escape when I don't need to. Now we'll just do this and then defend. No reason to use... Like, we could have used demon form right then, but... I don't think it's very necessary. Okay, now, here we go. Spot weakness. Start gaining that stuff. 12 damage coming in. Thunderclap. We'll take 4. the hand looking like. Blood for blood's good now. 33. Kill him off. Tired of him. Limit break. Let's bash. Alright. 27 on her. Let's go ahead and drink this also. Because this pretty much free healing. 18. Yeah. 18 healing. Spot weakness. Limit break. Pummel. Yeah. When we go off, we go off good. It's just we're missing a little bit more. Uh... Than what we have. This is not going to be a fun one. Especially since they're not attacking turn one. Like, look at this. That really, really sucks. To lose all this in the first hand. Especially with not getting any other attacks either. Shockwave is good to have first right now. Seeing red. Um. Do you thunderclap? Or do you... 
Yeah, I think you do. Pummel's not good enough yet. It's only doing eight damage. This fight could be really bad for us. Okay, so he's doing 21. We need him off the board. So I know we're gonna spot weakness. Can we kill him with this? Yeah. Take him off. I wanna battle trance next. Oh, crap. Both the spot weaknesses, again. Hmm. We're really kinda lacking on a bunch of attacks. So he's gonna buff himself. And then he'll probably summon next turn. Yes. Good turn to do demon form and this. Okay, now we're gaining back the strength. He's gonna try buffing again. All right, perfect. Spot weakness, limba break, what we're wanting. See how this plays out. Nice, I'm game with that. Okay, so he'll probably attack next turn. But with a good enough hand, like a pummel kind of hand. Oh, he didn't. We might just be able to outright kill him. Okay, we want to kill this guy. And then we want to bash. Yeah, we got him. It's getting a little dicey there for a little bit, but... With one, yeah, one attack, we should have him good enough. Okay. Gold Duvu doll. Ooh. That's interesting. Every time you get a curse, you gain one strength for every curse in your deck. And we're doing a strength deck, so... Ooh, another seeing red. That aug augmented uh, energy is good. So, I want rest. I think we could take another elite. Even though we're pretty low. Ooh. Uh, every time you play three attacks, gain a single point of dex. Well, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain a dex. Let's smith. I'm thinking let's get this pummel going up. This pummel could really hurt someone. Okay. This probably is not a good fight for us. Uh, we need to defend. It's going to suck, but we need to do it. We got we didn't get a lot done that turn. It was like a, a full, full, full setup turn. But here we go. Let's start doing things. Because the best way to do this would be to uh, not take any damage, heal up a little bit more before we go into this elite fight, if possible. Good. That was kind of what we'd want. I should have spot weakness first. A little bit of bad play, but we'll get demon form out instead. That should work. That makes up for the spot weakness. Brutality's not out yet. Okay. Defend. The question is, do I brute? Or I, take, I think we don't yet. Yeah, I don't think we do. I think we'll really try to lay into him this turn. And, yeah. Done. Explosive potion could be good. I think over the artifact potion. And then... Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. That is what we were looking for. Rupture. Okay. Spot weakness. I think the shockwave. And I also think we'll drink this currently, do that, and do this. Six turns. A strength is really good. Brutality. Rupture. Defend. Defend. Sword boomerang. Let's get off the rails here. We're already up to seven. Do a little bit of that. What did I just play? Sing red. Oh, that's not what I thought I played. I'm so confused. Oh, spot weakness. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, do a little bit of that. Some of these. Oh, yes. Do you shrug? Do, what do you do? I think I don't want to take damage. Save a little bit more of that plated armor right there. We're slow. We're growing exponentially. Honestly, I think if we got a limit break, we could almost kill. 18 times 5 is not enough. It's like 90-ish. Spot another weakness. 
With vulnerability, though, how much is it? 33 times 5 does it. Pin nib every time the attack you play it deals double damage, which will be really good for like a pummel. Like, just really crank into a hard pummel right there. Okay, he's not attacking. Doing that first one. We'll battle trance. Yeah, we could still use a little bit more draw and an energy relic. It's kind of. This could hurt us because we have a lot of like low to medium cost cards. So making them more expensive will not help us. Like, we already got Demon Form out, which is our highest one. Yeah, like, Dark Shackles. Seeing Red just pays for itself and exhaust it because it's not going to be good. Yeah, we need something that can just really hit. But we're already up to 10 strength, yeah. Go ahead and kill him. Before this fight gets out of hand. Uh, none of these are any good. Continue up. Another fight. Um, so they're already weak in first turn. So Shockwave, while it could be good, I don't think it's what we want. Well, I don't think we're going to play really anything else. I think just to get the extra strike off, we'll do it like this. Because 13 damage strike, I'm thinking he goes first. I think the bird we can really just lay out in some AoE if we need to. Okay, not a great turn for us. But we will Brutality, Rupture. Limit break. No reason for seeing red because they're not attacking. So, we want to. It is 50. I think we'll go ahead and lay out the bird. And I think that's where we will leave it. Because we're about to get hexed. But that means he's not going to be attacking for like a turn and a half or something like that. So, yeah. We're fine. 33. Mm. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand, seven block for each. Now, I think what we're working with is good. Are we fighting? Hmm. What would we smith? We'd smith brutality. Is it worth it, though? I think we're going to go for it. Worst case scenario, we die, and that's it. But I think playing a little riskier like this could give us some dividends. Especially if we get the early... Uh, Early, whatchamacallit. I can't think of the name of it. Uh, la, 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 la. We're out here in the scene, we're at this turn. What's the card I'm thinking of? Rupture. That's what I wanted. Okay, one point more point of strength. So we're gonna Dark Shackles you, do this to you. Question is do we Sword Boomerang or do we Shrug? I think. Oh, he had artifacting. We definitely shrug then. Definitely, definitely. Because this fight's going to be close as it is. There's rupture. They took limit break. Not too bad. Okay. So I want to kill this one first. Thinking thunderclap. Go ahead and sing red. We got pin nib going. So we'll be really close. 45, yeah, we'll kill him. And limit break. No more spot weakness, so we can get another strike in. And that gave us one point of dex. So he took limit break back, which is actually kind of fantastic. We will open with spot weakness. Sword bone rank, hopefully kills it. Okay, I can't take 20 damage. So unfortunately, we cannot play the limit break. But we can do blood for blood. So we're going to take four more. It's getting close, but the goal will be to kill him with one of these. Which we're pretty close to doing, I think, actually. Oh, he doesn't intend to attack. Waste. Uh, thunderclap. Pummel. Kill. Yes. Worth it. It was close, but worth it. Do you double tap? Or do you offering? I think offering. Just in case energy. Oh, there we go. And Curse Key is what we want. No doubt. Curse is for strength. As long as we don't get something that really, like, probably weakens us would be the only thing we don't really want happen to us. Uh, most of them we will we'll not have a problem with. I think we're going to go straight up to this elite and fight him. Alright, boys. Brutality. Defend. 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 Not used to having all this energy now. 
kind of kooky. Okay. That is a lot of damage coming in. Okay, what we're going to do, shockwave. Um, offering, seeing red, demon form, battle trance, spot weakness, spot weakness, do you thunderclap or do you shrug? I think you definitely shrug. Yeah. And that gets all of our setup done. We really need one AoE. Like, just one AoE card and a bottle tornado would be, like, the best things. Limit break. 24 damage thunderclap. Um, we should have done that first. Sing red. So we got seven and seven. I can't hit you both. So we'll break the difference and take no more damage. Because we did take a lot, like, immediately. But this fight was one that probably would give us trouble. Just because we don't have any uh, AoE, really. Like, Sword Boomerang Cleave, there we go. It's not really AoE. It's like, pseudo AoE. Ooh, normality is not... Not very good. Not good indeed. So... What? I think seeing... No, you won't offering in your opening hand. Makes the most sense. Flex. There's some more energy in terms of there. Every three turns. This. This. We need a little bit more healing. We're, we're, we're pretty hurt. And if we could heal a little bit more between fights, we'd actually be really good. Oh, thank you. Let's go ahead. Offering. Rupture. Brutality. Battle Trance. See if we get anything else. Okay. We will go ahead and do... Oh, we can't shrug. 12 times 5 is already 60 damage. I don't want him to hurt me right now. I think we'll win... No, because we're not going to get back to it. Like, by the time it comes back around, we're going to kill him. Nice. Good fight. Very good fight. Oh, we should have played Bandage up first. That was a dumb move. Dumb dumb. A uh, headbutt. We can put, like, Limit Break back, give it back to us. Don the Red Mask. Does that mean give it up? Oh, no. It just gives us the gold. Double checking. I couldn't remember. Which would be good. Okay, now, this would, the, uh, the AoE that we have now will really help in this fight. Like, impeccably help. Alright. Brutality. Seeing Red. Demon Form. Spot Weakness. Shock Rave. Defend. Defend. Nice. Good setup turn. So now that we're, we're already up to 5 strength. So as long as we get like maybe a little bit more, Yeah, like Thunderclap. More strength. Shrug probably first. Limb Break. There we go. Battle Trance. Oh! No! No, no. That That's big, big bad. Oh, crap. Yeah, we gotta do... That really sucks. This and this. I want all those dead. Oh, norma normality. Why are you such bad, bad? You're so bad. Uh, 13, 50, 65. Not enough yet. Rupture. See how this one plays out? Not 16 times 5 plus that. 24 times 5? Yeah, it's 100 and something. Perfect. Ooh, energy is now conserved between turns with ice cream cone. Phoebe. Uh, I think it's sort of another short boomerang. It's another way to get that strength out there. Ooh, it's fire growth. I think he's not very fun. Oh, yes. This is good, though. Go ahead, brutality, battle trance. Why are you killing me? You suck. Yeah, we're going to have to do, take out normality. As nice as it just is to have the curse, uh, it's not worth what we're putting in for it. Headbutt, back. Did we already cycle through limb break? I guess we did. So a spot weakness. We'll have it for next turn. We have so much stuff and no draw. I mean, we're going to play out the hand, so... Oh, and we do conserve that, so it's pretty nice. 
Should have spot weakness first. Oh, he doesn't have to tend to attack. Didn't matter. Thirty. Oh, yeah, let's just kill him. Um, I think we'll take the weakness. And I think we'll take flex. It's just like a fun time card. Uh, we'll add three cards if we see anything good. More draw. Nice. Um, a little bit more draw. Block and draw. That's what we want. We're cycling through our deck pretty quick, so it shouldn't matter too much. Clumsy's not bad. I think it's weak, but I think it's better than freaking normality. Yeah, we need to go. To the, we have to go to the shop. Uh, so let's take the easy path. Get some more smithing. Offering definitely should be smith because that's in our opening hand. Doubt and blind. I don't really want whirlwind. Don't really want to bash. I will take a cleave. Ooh, emulate would also be good. Don't really want that. That's it. Nothing good. Emulate or cleave would have been really good, but not enough to, you know, risk putting some crap that we don't want. I think we could do this without brutality. So we're just going to offering first. Yeah. So, how do I want to go about this? He doesn't intend to attack. So I don't think I'll battle trance. I think we'll just get some real good setup going on. This, this, cleave. Oh, we should have thunderclap first. Sword boomerang. And then, I don't think we'll draw anymore. Because I'll be afraid to draw into our uh, spot weaknesses. I'd rather just hold for this turn where he does intend to attack. Spot weakness. Spot weakness. Could have been a bad move though because we could have drew into normality. 15 times 4. We have plenty of energy so we should just play this. Play this. Bandage up. Can I kill him? 23 times 4? I don't think so. Even with drinking this would be... 28 times 4? No. So 18, we're going to take 4. And he's already weakened. Nothing we can really do. I bet here comes the clumsy and the normality. Oh no. Interesting. Spot weakness. Shrug. I want to do this. So we can hopefully not draw uh, normality because we shuffle everything in. We'll do this. We'll do this. And we will do nothing else. Because clumsy is not bad. No, clumsy, it's doubt that uh, we can do. Clumsy does not. I think we got this. Yep. A little bit more healing up there. Uh, I don't think we want the explosive. And I don't think we really want Intimidate. Another Smith. I think... Four cards. It's not bad. I think a Free Seeing Red will be better though. To really get those first turns to like pop off. And we need to remove Normality before we look at anything else. You gotta go. You're killing me. Drink or Calcum could be good. Um, three violence could be really good. Let's do violence or Calcum, and that'll be it. Not bad. Down to eight gold, and then we will rest right before the boss. Make sure we have no problems with him. Donu and Deca. Okay, so twenty damage right off the bat. Offering. Violent Exhaust. we got to keep that in mind. We're going to Spot Weakness. I was really hoping for... Um, what's the card I'm thinking of? Uh, can't think of right now. Rupture. Yeah. Immediately, just to get that immediate, like, all that block. I mean, all that uh, strength gain. Looks like it's not going to happen, though. Add some attacks in. Ooh. I like the sword boomerangs. It's a good thing to add. Deep breath. Limit break. Nice. 18 strength. First turn. We are going to take a little bit of damage. But not too much. We should just already drink this. Drink that. Go ahead and apply the weakness to him. And then we will apply some more weakness. 
Then we'll spot his weakness. See all the red. Blood for blood. A lot of damage right there. Might even... Nope. Oh, we might kill him right here. Yep. One down. Oh, no more energy. <laughs> so close. And Decca, you be dead. Just to really, really... Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Rubadan will really... Hit ya. 47. Not that much. I was trying to find... I thought I had limit break in my hand. So here we go. And attack. 876. Not too bad. I bet that'll give us another unlock. And we will continue. Yep. Sension level 2 unlocked. And a new unlock here. So Havoc, Sentinel, Exhum. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.